This is the fifth video in my indoor weather station tutorial series and this one's going to be fairly long because we're going to start off the pie for the first time, uh, run the entire installation process and set it up in such a way that in future we can log into it using a remote desktop application instead of an external display like uh, I'm doing right now. Don't worry, this is going to be the last video where I film the display in the way that I'm, that I'm doing it now. So if you've been following along uh, with this tutorial series, then in the last video, what we did was uh, download the Noobs operating system and install it onto, or just copy it onto an SD card like this. And then we insert that into our Raspberry, whoops, our Raspberry Pi Zero in our case. Then what we need to do is um, attach the display. So that's got an HDMI cable and I need to use an adapter uh, so that I can fit it into the Raspberry Pi. Next, um, I have a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard with a standard USB stick. So for that, I also need an adapter for micro USB. And then finally, I've got a power cable here that is attached to a power plug and that's got a micro USB as well. And the moment I hook this up, uh, the Raspberry Pi should start up. So let's see what happens. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with uh, a Raspbian as recommended and install that. Say yes. Um, this is probably going to take a while, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, there we go. That finished. Okay, now the Raspberry Pi is um, doing the actual startup and I might just skip forward. Okay, there we go. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, yeah, I'll just do next for now. Okay. Well, let, let's just um, let's just enter a new password. I think it's generally uh, advisable. Okay, now it's asking for um, the Wi-Fi connection. Remember, the Raspberry Pi Zero has Wi-Fi connectability. Okay, we'll do next on that. Okay, the update's completed. It took quite a long time, so I skipped ahead. Um, at the end of the updates, um, I had to hit OK to reboot, and now we're back here again. So this is a Linux operating system, and most of the stuff we'll be doing will be done through the so-called terminal, and you can access that by hitting Control-Alt-T. Now, for people who have never used this before, it might be a little bit intimidating at first, but you'll get used to it pretty quickly and I have a separate video showing you the most common commands that we're going to use. Um, for now, just go along with uh, what I type. So we're going to do sudo um, raspi config. And that'll bring up um, an interface where we can just do some, some settings. So go to um, interfacing options will enable SSH, so go to SSH and say yes to have it enabled. Next, again, under, under interfacing options, go to I2C and enable that. And lastly, go to interfacing options again and serial, and this time say no to login shell and yes to serial port hardware. Okay. It'll probably ask you to reboot and you'll say not yet. Um, finally, so that we can use SSH and I'll explain what that is and uh, um, remote desktop um, to be able to, to log onto the Raspberry Pi from another computer without using an external display, we need to install a couple of things. So for that, um, just type sudo apt get install. Uh, tight vnc server xrdp 
and VNC for server and um, hit enter and then at some point it'll um, probably ask you to confirm like before and you'll have to hit enter again. So I'll just uh, skip ahead and see you in a bit. Okay, once that's done, we need to reboot the Raspberry Pi and we can even do that by using the terminal by typing sudo reboot, hit enter and I'll see you on my laptop in a bit. Okay, now that that's done, um, I'm back on my MacBook and I've opened the App Store and looked for Microsoft Remote Desktop 10 and we're going to install that. Now that that's downloaded, let's open it and we will add a desktop, type the IP address that we took the note of earlier on, double click this, the username is going to be pi unless you changed it and the password is going to be raspberry unless you changed it, I did, so I'll type in my personal password. And there we are, so we're now connected um, via remote desktop and here again I can hit control alt t and um, that will bring up the terminal. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe if you did um, and I'll see you in the next one.